this is so fun. We have some more cahooting to do, that's why. Okay, so let's share the screen. Let's go back to what we were doing before I was doing. So we were doing career clubs. So yay, Michelle and Katrina hit their 50,000 level. That's awesome. All right, then we have, let's do it. What's the hold up here? Shannon Heath hit her 100,000 level. Woo, Shannon! Very exciting. Oh, that was, we already did that one. And she hit her 100,000. Let's see, anything else? <gasps> Jennifer Howe hit her 400,000. Yay, Jen! Way to go. So again, those are big levels. Usually at national conference, what happens too is that we have, um, there's a special career club luncheon. There's all kinds of things. We got, um, oh, we have this career so i think i must have hit something i think i hit one million two so look we have this little light up lanyard i think everybody shanna did you get one of these did you get a light up lanyard too anybody that hit their milestone you, you only get that for um million oh you do oh okay. got the little ribbon you did get the ribbon okay good so yeah we get ribbons on there too so good Excellent. Great job, guys. Career Club for Recruiting. So again, hit that certain level. These again are, um, I believe that when we talk about the special, that they are, they are qualified recruits. So that is a big thing um, just to remember too. So with the 25 qualified recruits level was Jennifer Howell hit that. Yay, Jen. Nice job. So that's always exciting to hit those. All right, let's do another Kahoot. You want to? So we're going to know, how, this is going to be a trivia on how well you know Pampered Chef. So get on your Kahoot thing. Let's see, let's get some winners going here. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Everybody in? Everybody in? All right, let's go. Let me share the screen. Uh, well, let me just stop that for a minute. Hold on one second. I want to hear some of that man again playing that music. Um, let me get our, so this is going to be a trivia about the comfort, about um, Pampered Chef. This is it. really fun. Who said that? I said that. Who is that? Haley. Oh, Haley, good. I can't see your picture, so I can't see you talking. But good, I'm glad you think it's really fun. The we should do it all the time. Should. I'm just going to make up reasons to do cahoots. All right. You ready? Classic. Start. Okay, now I'm going to share with you guys so you can. I don't know why the music goes like top volume every time we do this. But I played it earlier. I was playing with it, and Emma goes, "Oh my gosh, you're playing! You're doing cahoots!" So they know what this music is, I guess. All right, I'm gonna turn it down. All right, so there's your pin. Put your pin in. We'll be able to see the players. No fat finger typing. Only 29, oh, here we go, 30. Oh, now people are getting tricky. I will win, guess who? Only 32. I can't sign in. Why not? I don't know, it doesn't let me, so I'm not playing. What, did you put in the code? I can't even get to a code. What, did you go to, um, did you go to the I'm app? On. Who is that, Trish? Did yeah. you go to kahoot.it? I did. Trish, re you have to hit refresh. All right, let me try again. I have no time to Let me, what's the game pin again? Do do do. 747. 9151. Seven four seven nine one five one. What are the thirty three players? Are you in? 
I'm in. All right, good. Excuse me. But we're like down players. People skipped out on us, maybe. All right. They don't think it's as fun as we do, Haley. They're lost. That's right. Okay, here we go. I so was in. Oh, you in now? No, I was in there before, but I'm driving, so I can't. Do oh, it okay. It's Martian that's throwing the curve. Anna, when I worked with students, we played this all the time. It's Donna. I, yeah. And um, I played this with Japanese students that were coming to the U.S. for a year, and they thought this was the greatest effing thing ever. Oh. Like, it was the biggest icebreaker. Yes. And, like, the entire, like, Jap people, you know, adults from the Japanese education system are, like, sitting in the back of the room, like, giving me stink eye and we've got them playing this game on their phones and the answers are coming up on the screen and they're like engaging and yeah. we're like woohoo the kids are engaging this is great and yeah like, yeah I love it yeah no I know it is very big with the teachers so I that's awesome 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 all right guys we're gonna get going because it looks like everybody's here somebody's been watching the chat right if there's anything that I know, oh, Erica's dogs are scared of the climbers. I'm so sorry. Oh, all right. So I am going to put, and we're gonna get started. Okay, so let's go. So this is about Pampered Chef. Get ready. Are you ready? 10 questions we're gonna get. Who founded Pampered Chef? Jean Jonas. Doris Christopher, Judy Joel, or Tracy Britt Cool. Remember, for fastest question answers, get win the prize. You know, win more points. Wow, most of you got it! Yay! It's our Doris Christopher, and I hope you guys saw that on the Pamper Chef National Conference page. She did a tour of Heritage Home. Did you guys see that earlier this week? Make sure to go to the Facebook page. Um, I think it's Pamper, it's National Conference for Pampered Chef or something like that. And she does a walkthrough tour of Heritage Home. And it was really interesting about where she started this company in her basement. Um, but it's pretty interesting to watch. She's got a couple books out too that um, if you ever find them on Amazon or somewhere too. So good job. All right. Let's see who got for, oh, Amy D got number one by two points. But look at them, Barbara, Allie, and Allison right there. So, oh, don't think you have the lead, Amy D. Because look who else, Michelle Chick is running right up on you. All right, that was an easy one. Okay, second one. What is the first product that Pampered Chef sold? Mix and chop, garlic press, the round stone, or a batter bowl? Let's see how smart you are. If you read the book, <laughs> you would know this. You're right, the round stone. That was her first thing she got. Let's see where we are. Oh, oh, Kathy Shannon has jumped right up into the top place. Look at that. See, it can move. It can move really fast. All right, next one. We have partnered with the Feeding America since 1995, 1991, 2001, or 1985. When did we start partnering with Feeding America? I believe we're the longest running partner with Feeding America as well. The answer is 1991. Most of you got that. Good job. Look at Barbara Marston jumping right up there. She knew. Good job. All right, next one. True or false? We have raised $27 million for Feeding America. True or false? $27 million. That is a lot of dinners. If anybody works with the food pantries and the uh, food bank, that is a ridiculous amount of food that we're able to help through this um, Feeding America. That is true, 27 million, great job. 
Let's see what happens. Oh, Barbara stayed up there. All right. Kirsten is clipping up. How many times should I offer my host the business opportunity? Two times, three times, four times, or five times? This isn't really like a Pampered Chef trivia. This is like a, what does Anna teach us trivia? Two, three, or four, or five. How many times? Jessica Gilbert, you better get this right. Five times. Good, some people are listening to me. Oh, Lisa C, that's why she's a director, jumped right up. Good job. How much do you need to sell to earn the July consultant special? Remember that tote? 500, 750, 1,000, or 2,000. The July consultant special so that you can get that big, nice, insulated tote. How much do you need to sell? 500, 1,000, or 2,000. Oh, you guys know this too, 1,000. I'm gonna tell you those eight that got the 750, when I first saw this question, I thought that's what it was too. So 1,000, that's all we need in July. When what, they can get anything they want for 60% off. You can get that, they can, you can get that for free. Oh, Lisa, look at Lisa Corey. She lost that last one, so she just knows. What does this down here mean? Seven players just hit answer streak three. That means they got three in a row, right? Three in a row, correct, yeah. They got three in a row. But it doesn't tell us who? No, it just means that three people have gotten three in a row. Correct? Oh, well, I want to know who that is. They should. When it rearranges them, that I little think they'll have that up flame. Next to their name. Yeah, if they have a flame, then that'll mean that they, yeah, but we can't see anybody else here. I have three in a row, it tells me. Oh, you have a streak. Who is that that's talking? The ghost in the background that's having fun with the games. Who is that? It's Haley. Oh, Haley. Gosh, Haley. Okay, good. All right. All right. Let's go to the next one. What percent increase do you earn when you submit 15,000 in cumulative sales? When you submit 15,000 cumulative, do you earn 1% increase, 2%, 4%? or 5%. Good job, you guys know that. 2%. Lisa's there, who's guess who? Is that Haley? Or Sabrina, I bet you it's Sabrina. No, it's not me. Who is, who's guess who? Nobody's gonna, nobody's gonna fess up unless you win. All right, three more. How many incentive trip points do you receive for each qualified new consultant? 1,000, 1,500, 2,000, or 3,000? You guys are smart. Look how fast you guys are answering. You guys are no joke. Oh, that's it, everybody did. Wow, that's pretty interesting. That Look how even that is. But yes, it's 3,000, not 1,000 or 1,500 or 2,000. 3,000 points when you help somebody get started um, and they qualify, which they just do their 1250 in sales, not even within their first 30 days, just when they do that. Um, oh, who is the guess who? Somebody's gonna have to fess up. It's well, not it's Lisa. not me, my name's on there. <laughs> I was just gonna say, it's not Carol, Haley, Shannon, or Lisa. Is it Sabrina G? Is it Shannon? It was not Sabrina G. It's Krista. It is not Krista. <laughs> Listen, if you get the, if you're the guess who, you're not gonna get. Is that Terry? Oh God, you guys are killing me. All right, let's go. Let's see if the guess who wins. You're gonna have to fess up. Is it Faith? Jen Tagle is Faith the guess Shannon. who. Huh? Shannon. No, my, my name's up there. You guys are hilarious. All right, let's go. Next. Listen, there's time to, to bump everybody out. Quiz. What does FPP stand for? Family and parents, per, per party pick, free pots and pans, or freeze party points? 
Who's looking at her screen? Oops. Somebody's not on mute, so we can hear you. So don't yell out the answer. Oh, you guys are smart. That was the only thing that made any sense. I had fun though figuring out the other things of what FPP could stand for. You guys are cute. All right, well, guess who must have known it? Last question. This year is what anniversary for Pampered Chef? 20, 30, 40, or 50? Oh, look at that. Oh, did I hit the next that quick? Uh-oh, I might have did that. What happened then? I might have done that because look, only 15, 20. Okay, I might have. Yeah, all right. All right, we're just going to go with that. Number three, Haley. Lisa Curry got two. Number one, guess who? All right, you got to, you are not going to get anything. You got to tell me who it is. Oh, it's me, Shannon. Who is it? It's me. Roseanne. Yeah. Who? Rose. It's Rose. Butler. You are, oh my God, you're such a brat. Come on, Anna. No, I have no idea, but it totally makes sense now. Yay, Rose. Way to get 10 out of 10. I know. Look at that. Way to go. How fun was that? I'm so sad to say that's the last Kahoot I have ready to go. I totally should have more. We're going to do more. I promise. That's what we're going to do. Oh, wait, I got to turn that off because all it's doing is singing now. That's it. Let me get rid of this. Good, 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 guys. All right. All right. I still have, let's do, I still have three more. Shannon, can you want to do um, three more winner things? And then we're going to um, just talk about what's happening tomorrow. And then I just, am, we're going to wrap it up. Shannon, Shannon, Anna, Shannon, Anna. can you, can you, she want to share your screen, Shannon? All right. Anna, Anna. <laughs> Let's do the ninja, the name ninja. <gasps> Marie Doucette, do, do. yay Marie. Marie, you get one, yay. All right, two more, Shan. Dixie! Yay, Dixie! Doo, doo, doo. All right, one more. Allie or Aloe. We should, I'm going to write Aloe on here. <laughs> I'm person. never going to live that down, am I? No, you're not now. <laughs> no, <probably> not. <laughs> Yay, that's awesome. All right. Let's go in and let me just go through and let's finish. We're going to finish this up. Well, here's what I want to talk about first. Everybody knows what's happening tomorrow, right? 10 o'clock Central Time, which is 11 o'clock Eastern Time. And then what rose time is that for you? Noon, probably, if we get over in the mountain time on the other side. So that's how it starts to go. So 11 o'clock if, if we're Eastern, 10 o'clock for cent. No, no. 11 o'clock. What is it? Backwards, backwards from you. Yeah, it'd be like eight. Oh, so they're, you're earlier, Haley, then. Oh. It would be, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I'm, what time am I? 11? Yeah, I'm it's central, Eastern so time. I'm 10. You're 10. Okay. And then anybody else is going eight. Okay. So is our first general session. Who knows what they're going to tell us in that first general session? Nobody. Some of Nobody the knows. Products. Some what? of the new products. I knew Amy, you would be the first one to do. Um, Amy's favorite part of, of the new products. I, I heard oh. those, they're being separated over yeah. all three general sessions, though. Oh, you heard that? Yeah. Oh. I was on the site and the product like showcase thing, mm -hmm. part of it opens tomorrow after the first general session. Part of it opens after the general session two and part after three. And I've heard that before. Yeah. Did you hear that too, Terry? That's what I read. I, I heard that. <laughs> well, the only reason is that the reason why I'm questioning that is because at the breakout sessions after 
talks about, okay, now we know all this stuff. What do we do now? Right. So huh? I don't know. All right. Well, um, you're going to want to be on tomorrow because it's going to be big and it's always the best part. Um, one of the things too, what I would love to do is in your, you know, probably to do some sort of a conversation, you know, that we can sort of have a running commentary um, in, uh, in probably, I was thinking I'd probably do it in our team extreme one, but in your personal team page of where you guys are talking about conference and stuff, it'd be fun to sort of, you know, be able to talk with everybody that we're probably all on together would be sort of fun. Um, but so that's happening. And then you've got the breakouts and stuff that go on through the afternoon. Um, take a look at those. Those are going to be um, pretty amazing. You guys know the tidbits. They were already within an hour. Those recordings were up. So if you missed those, um, what I asked Director Becky Jenkins to do, because I know she took a lot of copious notes, was I had her, and especially because I was closed up in a couple other things during the day, um, that um, she was going to put in documents, files, under files on the Veerling organization page, notes from each one of those. And I would love, I think if she puts a file on, you probably can't edit it. I was thinking we could put it on and then you could sort of edit it from there um, if anybody wanted to add things. But I would love for us to sort of be adding files in there and just sort of tidbit number one, this is what the title was. If you took notes, if you would want to put those in, because I think it would be fun to be able to look at them and see, because sometimes people hear different things than others do, um, of what sort of was important to you as well. So, because um, what my understanding is the feedback from them that they were really worthwhile. They're all about virtual parties and um, and making those better, which we all want to do there too. So, so that's what's is, happening tomorrow. What? So I can put them in there as an editable, like Google Docs, so that or the like the website for it, so that people can add to it if they want to. I, I was going to say if it made sense to send them to one person and one person compile them all, but yeah, that would work. Too. Yeah, let's make it editable. So if you look at it and you went through the training take a look at what Becky puts in there and then just compare your notes. And then if you've got anything to add, if you would put it in there, because that way then we've got really good compilation of, is that a word? Of, compilation. Um, what is that? Compilation. Comp comp compilation. Yeah. Is that a word? Comp? Compilation. Comp comp is that Pam Kerr is there? Pam Kerr from the Bales Nichols. She came back. He did. There's a whole side conversation on that All one. Right, good. I'll call you after. Okay. So let's do this. So that's what's happening. Um, very exciting. We've got another couple days of just crazy fun, fun, fun. Um, and I'm really excited um, about this. So I don't want you guys to miss it. So let's finish up. This is going to be something that I want you to go over with you guys um, that I think, I hope will be really powerful going into and looking forward um, to this week. I want you guys to sort of um, be able to reflect and make some um, decisions. So I want you guys to sort of stop and just everybody close their eyes, okay? It's, you're by yourself, so nothing creepy is going to happen. So just take a moment to close your eyes. And right now, where you're sitting, I want you to look inside yourself. And I think, want you to think about where you want to be one year from now at National Conference 2021. I want you to think about what does your personal life look like? What do you want for yourself? What do you want for your business? When we think about your business, will you have a team by then? Is that in that picture that you're thinking? Will you hold a new title? We talked about excellence. You guys saw the Tiffany that came. You know you get rewarded. Maybe you're an excellence achiever. Maybe you're a new executive director team like I am. There's other people on this team. You all can be executive directors too. Like that's good. Like you, we want you that to happen. So whatever it is, I want you to imagine now we're in Chicago because we're going to be there next year and that you maybe imagine yourself walking across the stage in front of the auditorium. The spotlights are on you. Your team members are there. They're cheering. We're cheering and yelling for you. There's 5,000 people applauding you as, we, they, as you hear your name announced. And what will that mean for you? 
And how will accomplishing that goal, whatever that goal is that you're thinking for yourself, how will that goal impact your life? So that is the imagine. Now the next part is we're gonna talk about creating. And here's what I'm gonna tell you is that you, now we're gonna talk about you have to create that success. You need to take those steps, that's the next part of this, you need to take the steps to make what you imagined into reality. The next steps are letting your director know maybe what that is that you imagine. Um, seeking out our organization trainings. We have tons of trainings. The director bound, the booking blitzes. What about the company trainings? Have you gone through all of the dash? Um, there's spotlight trainings. The company puts on trainings every week and you can watch them. If you register for them and you miss them, you can go back and listen to them. But those might be great ways for you to take those steps to create that success. Reach out to those. Maybe you saw some people that were recognized tonight that you're like, holy cow, how did they do that? Reach out to them. Um, maybe they're having the same kind of success that you want to be having. You have to create this. Nobody else can do it for you. The next part of it is that you're going to have to decide. Deciding is about choosing something and selecting a course of action. Deciding is about choosing to be the captain of your own ship, choosing to be responsible for who, where you're going to go with this business. You will find great power, and listen to this, in just simply making up your mind and deciding to go for it. What decision have you put off so far in your business? Where are you sort of waffling around? What's something that you know you need to do, but you're just not doing it? I can think of things that I'm not doing. I want you tonight to decide to take the action towards that decision. Decide that you will achieve that big, scary dream and that big, scary goal. And then we're gonna map out those daily and weekly activities that are gonna make achieving that goal inevitable. Decide to foster a strong and confident mindset. Decide to make the second half of 2020 amazing and then secure all of that support that you're gonna to need to help ensure your success, like a program, like a coach, an accountability partner. So decide and start now and start today. Then once you've decided you have to take action on a course you have to commit. You've got to be all in on this. You need to commit to the process, which means staying focused on your goals. Commit to yourself and your goals. As the famous motivational speaker, I don't know if you guys have ever listened to or read anything from Zig Ziglar. I love him because he sounds like an older Matthew McConaughey. So if you can ever listen to a podcast of Zig Ziglar and you love Matthew McConaughey, go find it because you'll just want to listen to him all the time. Um, he's passed away, Zig Ziglar has though. But what he said is the level of your commitment is cr critical, oh, is the critical issue and plays heavily in achieving your success. So the, the amount of commitment you have, that's going to play in how, how you're going to have success. If you've made the commitment when you hit the rough spots, and there, it is a when you will hit the rough spot. It's not an if. When you hit the rough spots, if you have made that commitment, your immediate thought is, how do I solve this problem? If you don't make that commitment, when you hit the rough spots, your first thought's gonna be, how do I get out of this? And some of you may have been there before. Doesn't mean that when you get there, you can't come back, but that's gonna really make the difference of how you go with that. The next part is to succeed, and you need to succeed to, is to achieve that desired result. I ask you, what is the desired result that you're seeking? Success, listen to this, will look different for every single person. For many of you, maybe it's a career plan title. For others, it's a certain number on your commission check each month. But for other of you, it has nothing to do with the career plan title or what's on your commissions earned. So what is success to you? Decide today what your desired result is and then commit to achieving the result create the success from where you are right now. You're in the right place at the right time. I promise that this is your time. And then the last part of this that I want to talk to you about is that we started with imagining. Let's talk about um, your dreams and possibly listen to this concept about renewing your dreams. 
for many things in life, we get reminders, right? When our insurance comes due, we receive a renewal notice. When your membership to an organization runs out, they let us know we have to renew and, you know, to be able to continue or enjoy the privileges. There are certain things we must continue to invest in order to get the results we want. It's part of life. But what about the things that don't come with an annual renewal or reminder? What about your dreams and your goals? Maybe you haven't thought about your dreams and goals for a long time. What are the things that you would like to happen in your life? Have you let your subscription run out? Have your dreams expired? Has your dream renewal got lost in the shuffle of all your different responsibilities? When's the last time that you invested some time renewing your dreams? Do you even remember what they are? It doesn't have to be to climb Mount Everest. You don't need to find a cure for cancer. It doesn't even have to be a dream of national significance, but it does need to be significant to you. What would be really great if it happened to you? What two or three things have you always wanted to have? What would you really like to achieve? If you haven't thought about your dreams lately, spend some time with a pen and a notepad or your notes section on your phone. And if big dreams to think seem to be way out of reach, start small. Just give yourself some dream. That's how big dreams happen anyway, one small step at a time. Stephen Leacock said, it may be those who do the most dream the most. So start dreaming again and consider this and this national conference that we're going into as your renewal notice. All right, and start dreaming. Good, well, how are you guys feeling? Is everybody energized and excited? What's wrong? Shannon's doing this around the top. I'm super excited. Oh good. What, I'm looking for somebody. Oh, okay. <laughs> somebody at your house? Um, no, somebody in the pictures. Oh, okay. Oh my gosh, Lisa, are you kidding me? Lisa says she was in college at Fellowship of Christian Athletes Convention in Minneapolis. She met him, shook his hands, and he prayed for me in the elevator. He doesn't look like Matthew McConaughey, but he does sound like him, doesn't he? But he is an awesome, or he was, yeah. an awesome person and a great speaker. Yeah, he's amazing. And I still love listening to his Christian. podcast. Yeah, I love it. I love it. Good, good, good. Anybody else? Anything that you want to say? Um, really quick, someone had posted on the right. <clears throat> sorry, lost my voice. <clears throat> someone had posted on the national conference that there's a. I still don't have a voice. Um, that there's a, an app for the, the catalog. That yeah, that's been around for a little bit, but that okay. it, it has it. been, yeah, it has been around, um, but that it talks about it in one of those tidbits. That's why they okay. talked about, oh good, Denise is showing you what it is. Um, yeah. But yeah, they yeah. talked about that it's in the tidbits. Yeah, so I didn't know if anyone else had seen it or not seen it. I hadn't gone to the tidbits. Like I said, I hadn't gone there yet today. Mm -hmm. So in case anybody hadn't gone to the tidbits, seems yeah. like it, they, they went, oh my gosh, the catalog. And I went, what? Yeah. Yeah. It's nice to be able to just flip it up on your phone when you've, you're out and about and somebody asks you questions. Definitely. Yeah. Cause we used to have the other app last year mm -hmm. and we don't have that now. Right. 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 Cool. Good. Thank you. Anybody else? Aha. Uh -huh, or anything question. exciting from today? Yes. Haley. Um, do you happen to know about how long the general session usually is when that gets over? Like how many uh, hours? Two hours, Michelle. Is that what it's on the calendar for two hours? I mean, that's when we used to sit in it, it was for about two hours. I'm just, I don't know if it's going to be different because it's virtual <clears throat> instead. I just have an hour and a half drive, so I'm trying to figure out when would be the best time to try to do that after I get off work. It says oh. all the rehearsals and everything, they go pretty, they've always gone pretty true to the time that they have scheduled on the agenda so, i mean within within 10 minutes i mean it's it's always been very very close um they are very seldomly go over um but they're they're you can pretty much plan on it being the time that they they've scheduled Thank you, Amy. the time is 10 to 12 30 central time oh, so, so it's time for two and a half, half hours Two and a half 10 hours. to 12 30 is two and a half. Yeah, two and a half hours. Sorry. Perfect. Thanks, Lee. Yeah. Good. All right. Anybody else? 
Maddie wanted to say hi also. Say hi? Yes, hi, Maddie. Hi, Maddie, hi. I know, I see you, Maddie, hi. I'm so <laughs> glad you came on. She's so cute. We love the kids. Say, Anna does not do enough recognition for herself. And I just have to say, you all are so incredibly blessed to have such an amazing, giving leader. And I am blessed to call her my BFF. Um, if you were on the team time today, I got called out by Judy Joel for being so excited for Anna. But you guys, I will tell you, she is such an inspiration, um, personally and professionally to me. Um, I, I would say I'm jealous of you guys, um, but I'm excited for you, not jealous. And if you listen, remember, don't challenge her. Do what she says. You guys can have whatever level of success you guys individually want. And remember, it's not a competition. So you do you, and you guys are going to be not just an executive director team. Um, there's going to be a, a few more promotions coming up with the uh, Beerling organization. And I am super excited to cheer you guys on. Um, well, thank you. But I think you're supposed to be muted. No. I had something to say. <laughs> I think your team, I think your team was grateful that I spoke up for you. Oh, well, thank you. Because as the leader of an organization, you don't get that that recognition because you don't want to toot your own horn because you don't want people to think it's about you. But you're amazing, Anna, and we love you. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. I, again, have always said that anything with the promotion and our executive director team, that is not something that I did by myself. That was all of you guys. Everybody on this team played a part in that. So that is what is so fun for me about that is to, I want to recognize you guys because you guys did it. That's the exciting thing. I just happened to start first. That's it. I think, what, I think what was really cool about today, and I don't know if anybody watched both the first Tasty Tidbits and the Team Time, but the first tidbits, it was all about these systems and how to organize yourself and talking about doing virtual businesses. And I've only been doing this seven months. And I was like, I literally signed on in January and Anna was doing this stuff in January. So maybe I don't need to be watching this one because I are, Anna had already done it. And then listening to you talk about how you wanted to grow the team in the team time, it was like, okay, I have to sit down and learn the virtual and then I can teach it to everybody else. And then they can teach it to everybody else. I mean, here having the thought when I was watching Tasty Tidbits and then watching you explain it in the team time, it was like, yeah, that's exactly what's happened. And that's what got you where you are with the team, you know, yeah. it's a having that proactive yeah. initiative to do that. So that was awesome to kind of, to feel that a little bit today. Good. I, I agree with you, Allison. I felt the same way. I, I, especially with that very first one, I just kept telling myself, we're doing this. We do mm -hmm. this. This is what we've already been trained in. And, and yes, we still came out with, I mean, there were some great ideas that mm -hmm. uh, were brought up, but can, I, I can't imagine not being that way, you know, <laughs> where some of them have struggled with that decision when everything had to go virtual. We're like, we're on this boat right mm -hmm. here. It's funny because somebody made a comment in the chat about like, oh, I should try a block party. And I was like, oh man, Anna was like, the day I signed on, she was like, okay, four people next week, block party. And I was like, ooh, I don't know about that. Like just that, just that mentality has been frustrating, but also helpful. <laughs> so thank you for that. You know, oh. how they, you know how they always throw out a challenge, uh, Jean and Judy, about promotion stuff for next year. Well, my question is, where are we doing our director retreat? So for those of you guys that don't know, I do show up for your director retreats. I am a part of that. Um, so <laughs> where are we doing our director retreat next year? Uh, because that cottage is not going to be big enough. No, it's not. It's right now. It is not big enough. So we're going to have to go. We're well, going to have to go. We, are, yeah. we have to the cottage. Yeah. Well, we'll just so, travel. We can, we can totally travel. You guys can come here. That's what I was just going to say, Terry. I know your house is pretty big. I think it could house us. Hey, I must have had 16 people here this weekend, but I had to make a, an unfortunate quick decision that we couldn't do that. But uh, if come January, 
Um, if, if as long as this craziness is over, um, I would be absolutely happy. I have plenty of room for everybody. Or we could go to a, we could rent a beach house in Charleston on the beach. <laughs> Well, I might be in Houston by that time, so and it'll be probably warmer there. So maybe we'll go there. Cold, so we can build fires, Anna. Yeah. All right. Well, good. Well, I am so excited. Thank you guys so much for joining tonight and spending this time. It's sort of nice to sort of connect again. My gosh, how can you imagine, Joanne? You were there last. Can you imagine if we had all these forty people there? during national conference would be insane mm -hmm. so fun we'd have to rent like a so whole fun. we wouldn't be able to go out to dinner together we'd have to like rent like a whole restaurant out just us <laughs> super super fun so so good yep. so i'm excited let's keep in contact the next couple of days guys i really would love to hear and then again keep a, um your directors have some stuff going on at the beginning of the week, but we're going to have to do some sort of a reconnect. I would like to do probably after this, um, just sort of talk about one thing I'm going to tell you, and this may be our, um, our reconnect is that we will be doing a booking blitz next week. I have to look at the calendar cause I got a couple other things, but keep an eye out because I think you guys are going to come out of this weekend. So freaking jazzed up and ready mm -hmm. to book parties. Um, that we're going to want to get together and do a booking blitz um, and we'll make that really fun beginning of next week. And that'll probably be our sort of reconnecting. So keep an eye out for that as well. But let's stay in touch this week. I can't wait. I'm not going to be able to sleep tonight because I'm going to be so excited for tomorrow, just like if we were in Chicago. Um, so just get ready, guys, for all of you that this is your first time around. I'm telling you, it's going to blow your pants off. Right, Don? Keep <laughs> your pants on, Don. <laughs> you guys, our first time conference at 68%. That is fantastic. So excited. Yeah, so excited. All right, guys. Thank you guys so much. Good night. Have a good night. Thanks for cahooting with me. Good night. <laughs>